hey what's up guys rana here and in this video guys i'm gonna show you the best tool that i found over the internet to edit create combine or even assign a pdf document on windows as well as on a mac so guys you can utilize its features for your business and your personal purposes so first of all guys let me show you what is that program that i'm talking about and how it's work and i'll show you how you can use its unique features to get your work done quickly and easily so guys this is that program that i'm talking about this is a wondrous share pdf element and you can get this program by going to the official website of Wondershare. You can go to the first link in the description box of this video to open up the Wondershare PDF element official website. So guys, this is the official website of Wondershare. So here you can see that guys, this is a not free program. You have to buy it if you want to use its all premium features. Or you can try out PDF element as a trial version. Once you find out this is a really useful product for you guys then you can decide to buy it okay it's all up to you so now let's go back to the program so here you can see that this is a welcome screen guys of this program above you can see that uh, menu and toolbars so on and so forth in the left side you can see that we have the recent tab where you can see that my recent open documents today i just opened the eating plan.pdf file and you can open a new one by clicking on open file button and first of all, let me show you the most powerful feature of this PDF element, which you cannot find anywhere over the internet. Okay, there are so many PDF editor out there, but I like this one just because of this feature that I'm gonna about to show you. First of all, let me open up a PDF file. Let's open up recent one. So guys, this is a PDF file, which is a scanned copy. Okay, someone scan this book and they convert this book into a pdf file okay now you can see that i cannot edit any single text of this field but i really want to edit of the text so how can i do that well thanks for the pdf element ocr function which allow us to edit a text of a scan copy let me show you how it's work first of all you can see that we have this message which says that we detect this is a scanned PDF and we recommend you to perform a OCR which enable you to copy edit search text from the scanned PDF documents. You can perform OCR by clicking on the perform OCR button over here or you can go to the convert tab or you can click on OCR button over here. Let's click on the perform OCR and now here you can see that we have another pop-up window. Here you can choose a language. If this book has a different language on it, you can choose a different language according to your book, according to your PDF document. This book only has, or this PDF file only has English language. So I'll go with English. Click OK. And then click OK. Now it's performing OCR. It may take a few minutes depending on how larger your document is. Alright guys, now process has been done by this program. Now you can see that I can edit any single text of this book. You can see that. I can delete or I can change color, I can change a size, I can change a font. Anything you can do with this feature. How cool it is guys. This is a so easy to use and so cool feature that's why i like this pdf element so now you can edit any text of a scanned copy or you can say that you can magically remove a text from an image okay by using the ocr function you can go to that it you can click on edit text and image option if you select the cursor tool and you cannot edit anything okay you have to go to edit tab and that's how you can edit any text okay make sure you have selected the edit button inside the edit tool so this is how the OCR function works and next first select the selection tool and then go to convert tab and now let me show you guys you can convert this PDF file into Word document or you can uh, convert it to Excel PowerPoint image or you can convert this PDF file into text or you can convert into EPUB or HTML 
which is most useful for web developer. So many conversion tool, you can see that on the PDF element. Let me show you how it's work. Let's click on to word, click on OK. Save this PDF file into your favorite location. All right, now we have the output folder, but first of all, uh, I want to let you know that we just uh, save the uh, OCR uh, PDF file once we save the uh, existing file and then we have to uh, save the uh, document file into new location let's open up the output folder here you can see that we have the world file same world file that we have inside the PDF element now here you can see that we can edit any text all right let's close this one let's click on finish so this is how you can convert any pdf file into several formats let's go to edit tab here you can see that we have uh, several other options over here uh, to add image to add text or a link okay let me show you how this works let's click on the link button highlight any text that you want to link to let's highlight this one okay and a new pop-up window will appear first uh, we have the appearance properties here you can select the font color a uh, line style so on and so forth and next we have the link action so if we select go to page view if someone click on this highlighted text that person will go to page number four if we type four okay let's say if we select open a web page if someone click on this highlighted text that person go to your given website URL if I type google.com that person who click on that highlighted button will go to google.com if I select this option open a file and then I have to choose a file let's choose the any sample file if someone click on this highlighted text that person will open the sample file that i choose from here okay and then click on send link that's the pretty much it if someone click on this it will open the sample file so this is how this link button works okay and next we have the crop button you can crop your pdf document according to your taste okay next we have watermark you can add a watermark to your pdf you can add or edit the background header footer so on and so forth guys are so much tools over here we have a comment tab you can add a comment let's uh, select this one this tool okay like this right click to complete and next here you can edit any comment that you like double click to edit let's add few other tools let's click on complete if you double click on the line you can type any comment that you like randomly I'm gonna typing it if we hover our mouse over that comment we can read that comment like that you can type any comment that you like close it so this is how you can add a comment on your PDF documents we have the pages tab inside the pages tab you can see that we can uh, delete any pages by clicking on the delete button of the thumbnail you can hover your mouse over any thumbnail you can rotate it you can delete it or you can rearrange it by simply dragging and dropping if we drag and drop this thumbnail right about here we can swipe out that page with that function okay this is how easy it is you can extract a, uh, any uh, page of your PDF file or you can insert a page you can insert a blank page or in you can insert another PDF file inside this PDF file okay you can replace any single page okay make sure you have to select that page then you can see these button are highlighted otherwise these button will not be highlighted okay make sure you have to select that specific page that you want to edit okay next we have the form page so how this work let me close this one and this one and let's open up another file so guys inside the form tab we have a form recognition tab this button 
will work only if your PDF element have the form field like this PDF file have the form fields but we cannot edit the first name last name anything unless we click on the form recognition tab it will perform a little process and now you can edit any form field that you like okay this is how you can edit your form field and of course we can extract the data from the PDF documents into PowerPoint and of course we have a few other tools to edit your PDF documents like we have the add a text wheel we can add the checkbox we can add the radio button so many tools over here in order to edit your PDF documents once you're done editing your PDF file you can close editing and you can save your PDF file by clicking on the save button Alright guys, that's the pretty much it guys. That's how this program works. I show you the most useful features of this program and uh, I hope you like this program and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and that being said, goodbye and I'll catch you guys next time.